We've got the big Champions League game to look forward to on Wednesday, but first things first, the game on Sunday, and I, I don't suppose you could look any further than Spartans just now. Yeah, it's really the main focus that we're looking at just now, and it's quite difficult to try and prepare ahead and be um, thinking that much about the Champions League game whilst it's still obviously there and the excitement is building from it, then we need to get the job done on Sunday first. So it's a bit of a balancing act between um, trying to learn about the opposition for next week whilst also knowing that we need to play our own game against Spartans and um, see what we can get out of the game that might help prep us for next week as well. Is that something that Grant stressed in training, the need to focus on Sunday? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, us as players and Grant and Stuart, um, the game on Sunday is the most important. It's the game that we have to play first before we even think about Wednesday. So we want to get three points, we want to keep winning. So, yeah, that's always there. Having said that, let's talk about Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You would hope for a, a big crowd Champions League night under the lights at Easter Road? Yeah, it should be a really special occasion. It's not um, every day that you get Champions League sides coming um, and having a, such a big game at Easter Road. And for um, Hibs fans everywhere, it's going to be a really special occasion. Hopefully we inspire lots of kids and um, other supporters to come along, see what Hibs ladies are about and uh, see a really high standard of football. You've both played on the pitch at Easter Road before, but I take it the, the novelty of running out the tunnel and playing in front of the stands, it's not something that wears off? No, it doesn't wear off. You know, myself and Caelan, we've both played, uh, when we were in the team for Bayern Munich, we've played Hamilton, we've played Stirling, you know, so, you know, there's nothing better. It's such a good park. There's, you can fit lots of people in, so we just want as many people to come along and support us. What sticks out from the Bayern Munich experience? Maybe on the pitch, it wasn't what you would have hoped for, but in terms of the, the whole occasion, what sticks out? I think I was unprepared for uh, the noise of the crowd and the support that it makes it uh, such a big difference having so many people along um, and it really kind of livens up the atmosphere and um, makes for just a more exciting game, I think, having so many people engaged for it. So that was something that was really different and special for me, I think. And you've had to work hard to get here. I mean, the group stage is no easy feat with the, the three games in a, in a week like that, especially in the heat. It must have taken it out of you. Yeah, you know, Slovenia, it was great. Uh, I think all the girls, including myself, enjoyed every single minute of it. You know, three tough games um, and we got the results in the end. Uh, we were one big team. Like, some players didn't play, some players played every single minute. So we were all there as one team. So it was great to get three results. Slavia Prague are heavyweights in the Champions League five years in a row. I think the quarterfinals the last twice. What do you expect from them? Um, well, a really probably disciplined performance, a professional team, I think, um, in terms of the way that they're going to act and um, prepare for the game. So we just try and need to match their focus and uh, match their physical preparation as well. Um, and of course, having had that experience in the Champions League, they might be more relaxed in this environment. But we have had experience both playing at Easter Road and also having it televised with cup finals and things. So it should be really interesting to see how we match up um, just in terms of the squad dynamics and the experiences that we have as two separate teams. But at the same time, you're on a great run of form. The team's scoring goals, so you, you would hope you'll give them lots to think about. Yeah, we'll go into it with uh, confidence. We'll go into every game with confidence. We know what our strengths are. We know where um, we can exploit other teams. So we'll try and take that into the game. And um, we'll take what we've done in training into uh, the game on Wednesday. And finally, Caitlin, why should any Hibs fans swithering about whether to come or not? Why, why should they come out on Wednesday and, and support you guys? Well, I think there's nothing better than having a Champions League night at Easter Road um, under the uh, floodlights and... Um, having such a big occasion for it. So if you've never seen Hibs Ladies before, this is a pinnacle of um, the high standard and um, high calibre of teams that you'll get to see, and especially in this arena, will be just a great experience, I think, for everybody to have.